Hello everybody, this is Stephen Paul West and welcome to the show. Today we're going to be dealing with steampunk art and we're going to go to the Republic of Texas uh, Biker Rally, which of course will have plenty of men, machines, and beautiful women. I'm going to pick up my model and friend Irma and we're going to go out and shoot. And uh, then I'm going to go out on the internet and I'm going to find you various steampunk uh, examples and fine artists out there. It's a really clever, very cheeky, and, and very impressive art and uh, can be taken to the extreme everywhere from a huge bike, railroad, um, and of course I have some railroad footage for a trip I took earlier today in honor of this thing. Uh, right down to iPods, people trick out their iPods and I'm hoping to capture all of that men, machine, and beauty all in one episode for you. Come on over here Irma and give me the tough thing. Yeah. Come on, give me the tough thing. I want you to ask him first. Well, I'll find him later. That's alright. Right there, give me the tough That's thing in front of that. With the macho look. Mean. No? You really are scared of bikers. I I, bikers are the salt of the earth, man. They'll do anything for you. You're Mexico. Mexico, the biker gangs are dangerous. Everything's dangerous now in Mexico. The school teachers are dangerous. They have wonderful work, though. These people have done wonderful work. Look at this one over here with the black pipes. Oh, I like this. Look at this. That is pretty. So as I mentioned earlier, the whole purpose of visiting and going to cultural events is for the artist to expand their view, to enjoy life, to not just make a hole in the time and fabric of the universe, but to actually celebrate what you're doing. All these images and everything that comes to you, you'll be able to use expressively later. As uh, steampunk art, and I talked about it earlier in the video, but I didn't define it, is actually a celebration of, of mankind's ability to not just make things of metal but the fashion art forms of metal and I'm going to show you some of the latest uh, steampunk art that's out there so uh, taking a look at a real quick website just called desktop you can see different kinds of steampunk art that has been applied here's somebody's modified a Bluetooth set headset to make it look old-fashioned Jules Verne kind of a look a Victorian kind of a look not just gears and sprockets but actually artwork of the gears and sprockets a, a magnificent computer center uh, a hutch people modding out their monitors to make it look uh, spacey futuristic earlier I had had this iPod that I had showed uh, on my website there's different iPod modifications somebody took apart an old keyboard and a typewriter and used it for the keys of their keyboard and on and on and on and of course all of these links will be on my web page so you can click to your heart's intent and take a look at that but it's an interesting fabrication of of old world craftsmanship with modern technology it's a futuristic view but it still has roots you can almost feel like uh, there's a cultural connectivity in a household where dad and mom craft things of wood and, and design these high-tech devices. Maybe someday our technology will actually look uh, very similar to some of these things. There'll be more art and care and consideration put into each one of those things. Somebody did a, a beautiful guitar here. It's got pipes and little fittings soldered on to it. And as I mentioned, where did this uh, steampunk art come from? Well, one of the obvious places you could take a look would be Jules Verne and, of course, uh, 2,000 Leagues Under the Sea. That futuristic, almost whimsical look at technology in the future. Uh, here is Charles Babbage's um, calculator that he put together and you can see that this was ahead of the time this this calculator it took years and years to put it together those kind of inspirations have, have uh, sprung forth into a modern uh, movement called steampunk and the word itself is a very recent word that was coined among some authors out there here's a picture of Abraham Lincoln with a Gatling gun fused to his body steampunk yeah it's kinda like that so um, but one of the most successful um, steampunk kind of authors would be a gentleman by the name of Harry Turtledove. And I pulled up some of his work for you to be able to see. He does alternate futures. For example, that the Romans were never defeated and that they're still moving and that World War II was never fought. Uh, alternately, it was fought as the world against space aliens. 
uh, many different versions of uh, the Civil War as if the North and South had fought to stalemate and then World War One and Two wouldn't be fought or would alternately be fought on our front. There's a Nazi riding a unicorn. So it's got a, a lot of facets to steampunk art and one of the facets that I took a look at of course was the art of motorcycles and uh, the people that put their time and effort into that really 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 are dedicated to the passion and um, it, it shows in different things and it inspires us in different ways uh, one of the more interesting uh, steampunk uh, websites that I like to go to is this steampunk workshop and um, this gentleman he really gets into detail on how he does these different moddings uh, how he makes new light switch plates of course a lot of this is doing with chemical etching which I would not recommend these kind of uh, etchings could actually be done uh, with um, sandblasting and that's how I've done some work before and glass and things like that you could put a tape or an adhesive pattern onto glass and then sandblast it and end up with very similar images here I'll click on this Altoid and they use copper plating the problem is is disposing of that copper solution afterwards it's going to be extremely difficult sandblasting it isn't anything like that he has a step-by-step -step layout and again these links will be in uh, my uh, drop-down menu below so just click the drop-down menu and you could take a look at that uh, here somebody took the time to make different kinds of jewelry from uh, images they found on the internet using brass uh, plating and um, chemical bass um, some of this work I, I you might be able to do with uh, laser and then a tumbler but uh, nonetheless here is his keyboard um, where he just took an old IBM keyboard removed the keys and then he fused on um, the metal components that he milled himself and that is part of the steampunk movement too this whole idea of, of self craftsmanship of creating something beautiful and uh, it spills out in all kinds of environments there's models and celebrations of it um, the idea of vocabulary and address uh, just all kinds of wonderful wonderful work out there but uh, my purpose today is to expose you to this to get you excited about this alternate old and new merging together and maybe uh, you can design something in a steampunk motif yourself and I want to thank you very much for watching the show today's episode of I found something beautiful is brought to you by tattoo flames it's a beautiful print your purchase helps to continue the show and I want to thank you very much for your support